Jay, thanks for coming in and talking to us. Can't be easy. Uh, what was the mood like after the game this evening? Uh, I mean, everyone was flat, you know, flat. some speechless. Obviously, it's not a nice result. <sighs> yeah, it was, it was a tough one to take. And yeah. yeah. I mean, you're still a young man yourself, but there was players uh, younger than you even in there as well. So it's probably at the moment, you don't think of it as a good experience, but it, it might help uh, people to learn and and kind of uh, work out where they need to do things better and uh, differently. Yeah, I think things like this, I know is, is a very negative experience, but I feel like if you just have to try and take as much learning as you can, because I feel like you learn more in the difficult moments rather than when everything's going great. So, I mean, that's probably the only positive that like, we can learn from this and build from this and Obviously, it can't, it can't get much worse, you know what I mean? So, yeah. From a personal point of view, though, you've had a, a couple of uh, cameos at the end of games so far. How good was it to start your first game for Colchester United and, and and how did you get through the hour you played? Uh, honestly, from a personal point of view, like, it was a blessing to, to get a start. Um, I'm grateful always because I haven't started a game in a really long time. So, just from that point of view it was it was really good to start a game and to be out there even with the cameos like I remember my first one on my debut it's just like it was almost surreal so it was, it's, it's really good and it, it seems from the sidelines that you really enjoy being back out there you know having the the, the things go on there at, at Portsmouth and you just seem to be happy being out playing football again whether it's on the training ground or in games mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's definitely a, a reminder obviously I was training by myself for a long long time two months I think so Obviously, to be back out there, it just it makes you realise what, what you've got and you just have to cherish it. And, and however hard you work on your own or one-on-one mm -hmm. one, uh, one -on -one with trainers, it doesn't quite replicate no. pre-season when you've got all the squad competing yeah. for fitness levels. Not, not at all. There's, there's so many things that go into play there. So obviously, I was by myself. I'm not training. I'm not passing with other players. I'm not building a connection with other players. So, yeah, just I, I miss the... Even like the change of moods and things like that. That's that's the sort of thing that I missed. And obviously being out there and running at players, tackling players, that sort of thing. I missed that. So yeah, and you must feel that now it's been a few weeks that you're almost getting up to exactly where you need to be and where where the club want you to be. Uh, yeah. To perform well. Yeah, because obviously coming in, I knew I was always going to be playing catch up because everyone's had a full pre season. Mm -hmm. So obviously I just look at it from a perspective of is me versus me at this point I can't really compete with anyone else I just got to take care of myself and ultimately that will help me and help the team so yeah, yeah. And you must feel it must be a nice feeling that the manager's got faith in you enough to keep you involved in the first team squad while you're getting up to speed mm -hmm. so you're in and around that group yeah and ready and willing when he does start you in the league game yeah yeah it's a, it's a really good mm -hmm. feeling to have like that sort of back end from a manager like you would, you would run through walls for him, do you know what I mean? So it's just about me now rep repaying his faith, so yeah.